right, man. So you becoming a vet in the game. Hmm. You you didn't play Toronto, Winnipeg, and now you're coming to the Hammer to bring your your services and your skills to the defensive backfield. I got a couple plays here that I think shows different aspects of your game, right? We got some zone, some man, some run support and whatnot. But I want to walk through you with these and get your opinion or how you're thinking on them because currently it's off season, you know, heading into a new team, new locker room, you're going to have to do a lot of studying to catch up to the playbook. But at this point in the year, you're also looking back on what you've done and what you can improve on, right? So I'm, I pulled up this play here. You're at IG Field. Uh, this is before you were on Winnipeg. Yeah. This is old film. Yeah, this is, what made, this is what made them come get me after this game. They saw a couple <laughs> so, picks and stuff. Right, so <laughs> right here, uh, you guys look like, I don't know, you're in some kind of like cover two or something like that, or cover three. So right here, it's a 41 set. Right there, if you see, they're on the, like the 50 in the middle of the field. We like to call that the alumni zone. So normally, even though it's first and 10, typically on a first and 10 situation, you want to alert run Sally quick. You know what I mean? Depending on what side the back is on. If you're to the back side, you're more than likely to the Sally side, which is the quick game. So the running back side, that's called the Sally, which is basically like a play action pass or like a little, you know, uh, and they want to throw it quick. Right. If you're opposite the back, you're to the run side, obviously, because they hand the ball off, the, the run's going to come to your side, unless it's a zone ugly where they cut back or something like that. So normally on the first and 10, we would alert run Sally quick, and we won't expect deep routes like this. Here, the ball's in the middle of the field. We call that the alumni zone. This is where you And that's take because the alumni sit in the boxes they sit between right in the, box. the 50s. Exactly. So I call it the alumni <laughs> zone because the alumni got the best seat to see a long, deep pass, to see a touchdown, to see some action. Right. Typically, when you get your deep shots, you don't get too much motion. And you know, Winnipeg loves the motion every single play. They do running back motions, but here, this whole play, they're stagnant. Not only are they stagnant, they're in a 41 set. So off the rip, I'm alerting Vegas to that four receiver side. Vegas, you got the seam, you got somebody, you got some other receivers going to dig somewhere, somewhere. Vegas is a route concept? It's a route concept. Um, and so here you see that trailer right there. That's K-Law. Uh, running, running down the hash. Running down the hash, right on the tracks, money tracks. And you got Drew Wolitarski, which is coming in. Just a, He's window dressing. Me in the corner are playing ball. I mean, me in the uh, field half, uh, Kevin Fogg are playing ball. You two high defenders right yes. here. Yes. This play takes it's, – it's a good concept in the CFL if you catch the DBs lacking. If you don't do what I did, so that's a catch and maybe touchdown. Right. We've seen it time after time. You're pattern reading right now. So you're not necessarily covering this guy that's right in front of no. you. No. But you and the halfback, or you in the corner here. Halfback. So we got the corner playing low. He's in, he's in a, he's in a right. 70, 30 cut carry. Just in case uh, uh, Drew Wolitarski bounces back out. We right. Got so you in the half, mm -hmm. is two on two, but depending on how the routes go, it's going to determine exactly. what you guys do. So pre-snap, I alerted Vegas. I alerted the you know, scene with a dig, and I told K. Falk, hey, I'm going to stay high on the scene. Come cover me like he's going to go do. Because by that time, you see, the, you see that pocket? I can come off of that. Quarterback's not going to have time to come off of that and say, oh, because the seam is open after I come off. Because right. it's going to take Fog a little bit to get there. Right. Quarterback don't got no time. He's already at the top of his drop. He's That's on the top the of his drop. Come out. So I'm going to stay high, boom, 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 let it develop, and I'm going to come down. Now, I was mad. I don't, I don't really – I like big hits, hits, but I want picks. I was mad that I was a second late and couldn't pick it. But I still got the big hit PBU. I guess the receiver was mad that you was a second late too because uh, he ended up on the turf on that yeah. one. But, no, what you said, I mean, we could talk about this all day, but these offenses, they have some tendencies. Oh, and, yeah. and basically what you're saying is they hit the line of scrimmage like they're on a track meet. Oh, yeah. And so that gives you a, a heads up that they might be going deep. Yep. yep. And then you guys are reading the routes as they develop. Mm -hmm. And based on who runs where as a wide receiver, that tells the defenders who they're going to cover down the field. Exactly. Once, you, Like you said, once you become a vet in this league, it's like that. You start seeing the game. You know, because I, I look at last year and I look at my first year in 17, I just wasn't seeing the game this way. You know what I mean? I was at Boundary Corner. I was making plays, had picks. I was, you know, be doing, doing good, had a good system around me. But you start to actually see the game. And these coordinators, it's, it's, it doesn't change much. They can't. You know what I mean? They can't just – have a whole system and a whole style one year and just scrap the whole thing. Imagine Dane coming to camp and it's a whole new just little everything. Right. They got two weeks to learn it. I believe we could do it, but that's tough. Right. Cover three going to be cover three. Cover four going to be cover four. Uh, a seam, the dig is going to be a seam dig. We just got to dress it up differently.
we can, we can dress it up differently in two weeks. So, so once you start being a vet and you start seeing this game, you start to know, okay, this is coming. You know what I mean? You plan against Winnipeg. Everybody know Winnipeg loves to motion. They do. They love to move everybody around, which is very smart because it gets your eyes all over the place. They love to move everybody around. So you said, okay, Winnipeg's in a stagnant formation. And at the alumni zone, and they're hitting the, hitting the ground running. Oh, their money plays coming up. Vegas, alert Vegas, and let's get let's get let's get going. Man, I could already tell that you're a guy who's very thoughtful in your preparation because you don't end up making plays uh, just off of coincidence, right? Wow. It's it's studying and stuff like that, right? And this play right here, you yeah. at the top of the field playing corner, mm -hmm. and you're about to get some what we call a quick game, yeah. which is where the the quarterback doesn't really take a drop back. It's really one step and throw. Mm -hmm. When a quarterback gives you that action, you know the ball's got to come out right away. Oh, but right away. You're not even looking at the quarterback. Yeah. Because the quarterback's throwing to the receiver. You got your eyes on the receiver. Mm -hmm. I think that's a mistake that a lot of young players make is that they got their eyes on the wrong spot. Yep. Take me through your technique here uh, and breaking up this, this slant. And they're in the alumni zone, but they're up, so they playing a little conservative, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So now when they're up like this, half time, six minutes left in the uh, second quarter. Now you kind of go to basic rules, you know what I mean? Now you're going to get your 32 set, and it's a 32 set for one. 32 set, you're going to get your back strong, you're going to get your Sally. So I'm already thinking, and you see how they're hitting the line, they're not even, they're not even running. Two and three uh, uh, to the field side, uh, two and three are tight. Right. If they're running, somebody's going to be on that track blazing. They're tight, so you got some switches going on. Switch release going on, you're thinking quick game. So I'm here. If you see at the beginning of the play, I look inside just to see what two and three are doing because they're tight. Right. Once I notice that they're tight and about to do a switch release, now I know, oh, it's about to be a quick game for sure. Right. So immediately I look and I just snap back onto him and I just block him off because if you're going to run a double move, you got to run through me because my body's here and I'm ready to run with you. If you go on a slant, I'm already cutting you off and I'm going to drive it. So I said, okay, it's only two things he can do in this situation to the field. He can either run a slant and go, which by body position, he's going to have to slant and slant through me and I'm already open and I'm ready to go run with him. Right. Or you got to slant and I'm going to put this big tree trunk of a right foot I got in the ground <laughs> I come break it up you know what I mean so and that's what it that's what it panned out to be you know 90% of this is preparation technique mm -hmm. the finish sometimes just gotta be finesse like you yeah. just gotta be a playmaker you gotta be a playmaker stick your hand in there and make a play give it give a little bit of a notice to the receiver exactly that, okay right here we're gonna switch it up I, I said I want to take a look at the whole package uh you're playing Sam linebacker in Winnipeg here yeah all right in the middle of the screen we got a uh, tight bunch formation. Tight meaning that these receivers are close to the offensive mm -hmm. line. They're not way split out by the numbers. And a bunch is just these three receivers stacked on top of each other. None of them are running. They're just, you know, standing in a group like they're waiting for yeah. the bus. Then we got this receiver in, in the boundary or the short side of the field. He's the only one running around. Yep. Uh, you talk a lot about these keys that you're reading. Is this something that you're looking at and that you see that allows you to, to get up here and get in the backfield for this tackle for loss? Because, I mean, man, you came like the dude stole your lunch money and you're just trying to get it back. I believe this is like the first, the first drive of the game, the first series of the game. Um, it's two pony, for one. So two pony is when they got uh, one receiver out and they have like their scat back in. They're like their gadget guy. And so I'm like, okay, it's two pony. So my dog, uh, Spoon, he's actually the field half. So. We got the field corner, Mike Jones, we told him to get on the point. And for me in particular, this, this whole season, I used to kind of get mad when they ran screens or like this little zone plays to my side because I just feel like nobody's going to block me. I'm not, I'm not going to get blocked. But you know what? They anticipate that DBs yeah. only cover. Exactly. And that they don't want to get up in there and get physical. So I showed inside closer to the box, obviously, because it's Smitty of number four decided to track back, which he won't track back because he's to the side of the running back. That'll be... Just a, it wouldn't make sense with the concept. Happen, right? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to show a side to make them think I blocked myself. Mm -hmm. So now I'm out of their account because if I, show, if I show head up to the point or outside, now one of those receivers is for sure going to get me. They don't got 35 on my team spoon in the account because they're like, okay, he's too far off the ball. Yeah, so they don't 30, got me in the 35 account. is 10 yards deep, yep. so they're not going to block they're him. Like, oh, he's, he's, You're inside of the defensive they're end, like, oh. they're like, so they don't think you can get to the edge anyway. Exactly, so I did that on purpose. Let me show one side, because I wouldn't line up that tight to Biggie, but that's also why I backed off a little bit off the ball. So Give if Biggie does go this way, we're not going to collide. I'm going to get off the ball a little bit, and that guy is super high. He's not going to no pass. Not against, not against uh, Spook. I mean, 32 is what all-star boundary half. They know. Right. So the pass uh, option is out of it. He's high back. His two pony. I know what's coming. I'm just ready to make the play now. Just I'm going to tackle. And then when you see this, all right, 
you got all these calculations you did, you did your, your mental reps, your practice, all that stuff. It takes a certain amount of confidence to believe it, though. Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of people could see it. You got to believe you got to run, go get it. See, yeah, and, and then also the confidence, too, comes from how you prepare and how you practice, how you play. If I miss that tackle in the back of my mind, I know I'm going full speed because I got my dogs coming. Yeah, that's, you know what I mean? that's when you got, When you got dogs running on the line, you just go. If you're the first person, you just go. You know what I'll tell you? It's a good thing. You're going to have a, a couple of dogs. And oh, I can't wait. A few cats I can't right wait. behind you, man. I can't wait. Look, we got a, another play here uh, at the Sam linebacker. Man, look at your footwork, though. You didn't back up one iota. You didn't take a scooch step. You didn't backpedal. You didn't skip. You didn't slide. None of that. Mm -hmm. We got quick game again, all right? The quarterback literally takes one step. He's ready to deliver. Yeah. You run right past the receiver to that landmark that you were talking about. You called it the tracks. The tracks. Right. Money has, money, money it, has to the boundary. It, the looks like, it looks like railroad tracks, but that's, that's the hash marks on the field. Mm -hmm. It seems like a lot of offenses use these marks on the field as landmarks, yeah. uh, just places for receivers to kind of know where to go. Being a defender, those are the kinds of things that you use to your advantage? Yeah, 100%. Yes, that's your landmark. You know the ball's going to go there. The ball's going to the tracks. The ball's going to the money hash. It's, 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 it, the ball will be thrown there 80% of the game. <laughs> if, you just, if, you just, if you just stood there, you might get two picks a game. <laughs> if, a quarterback didn't see, if a quarterback didn't see you and you can put a, a, a visibility cloak on you and just stood there, and take it off when the ball's thrown, you might catch two picks again. Right. That's how much the ball's thrown right there. Right. And so in this plan in particular, we go back to our ba – it, it goes back to the basic keys. It's 32 set, it's first and 10, it's back strong. Run Sally quick. I'm to the Sally side. So I know the quick game is coming. It's a tight game. It's a tight situation. So when it's a tight game, tight situation, new quarterback in the game, then that's when they're going to run their most basic stuff because they don't want to mess up. Coordinator does not want to say – a coordinator is not what the press comes to say, oh, we lost the game because the coordinator tried to do a post and go or, or a post corner and it got picked off. They went to the 10th page of the playbook and tried yeah. to do some special. No, no. no. Why'd you, what happened? Why'd you lose? Well, I, I told him to run Sally. We've been running Sally since day one. I don't know why he couldn't make the throw. <laughs> you want to blame him on him, you know what I mean? Right. So I just look at my keys, and it will take it even a step further. You see that number 81 over there, bomber and in? Right, and the, the pass usually go opposite the bomber. Oh, 100% opposite the bomber. <laughs> so as soon as I see that, oh, bomber. I got my boy Mike Jones yelling, bomber, bomber. So now I know I'm hot, right? And I know he want to go to the tracks. So now I just stood there, line up inside of three, make him seem like I'm not going to get around three. Line inside of three, don't move, shuffle, shuffle, and just now go. It, t it takes a lot of years of experience of playing, seeing different things, being around different people, absorbing. To, to distill that down, put it in your game. Obviously, it's been paying off for you. I know the people of Hamilton, the, the fans of Tiger Town, are going to be excited to see you put those skills to use out of Tim Horton's field. Appreciate you coming by, man. sharing some gems with us, man. Anytime. You already know. Solid.